when an application is not responding, Ubuntu will automatically open a window asking if you want to force quit the application or if you want to wait to see if the application starts responding again. When you force quit an application, you will lose unsaved changes, so it's good to wait for a while if you haven't saved your work. Otherwise, you force quit it and start over right away. If for some reason this window doesn't appear and you can't quit the application, you can use the system monitor to shut it down. In principle, the system monitor is there just to give you information about your computer. On the system tab, you can see basic information about the operating system and the hardware. On the resources tab, you can view a live graph of the usage of your CPU, your RAM memory, and your network. On the file system tab, you can view your hard disks. On the Processes tab, you will see all the software that is running on your computer, their status, and how much CPU and memory they are using. When an application is stuck, you can search in this list the process that is not responding. There are three possible actions you can take from there. The first is to stop the process and continue it later. The second is to end the process gracefully and the third option is to force quit it. This is called kill process. When you right click on the line of a process, you will see these options in that order. You can also do this using only your keyboard pressing the super key to launch the dash, typing system monitor and using the arrows to navigate to the process. The shortcut to stop the process is Ctrl S, to continue Ctrl C, to end Ctrl E, and to kill Ctrl K. As soon as the process stops or disappears from this list, you can continue or relaunch your application and it should be working as it was before. If you accidentally quit an important application, restart your computer and all software will be up and running again. The risk of quitting applications from the system monitor, though, is to lose unsaved changes in your documents. On the next video, we will talk about getting more specific answers with Ubuntu Offline Help.